you were, you are given you have been given actually two terms to reign over the nation of Zambia two terms i repeat Your spinal cord. I am counting the first vertebra going from the and I'm going to the fifth. And I'm seeing in that area there is pain. Lower back 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 pain. Viewers all over the world, I have got a prophecy for the nation of Zambia. There is something that the Lord revealed to me in line with the nation of Zambia. Firstly, I want to speak to the president. I want to relay this information to the president of Zambia in this government. And I want to say to him that it is God that has allowed you to be in the office that you are in. And God is saying what he has done for you, he allowed you to be in the office so that you... Uh, reign over that nation and restore order. I have a few things that the Spirit of God showed me and I wrote them down that he revealed to me a few days ago while I was in prayer. Uh, number one, he spoke to me and said he is going to strengthen uh, your economy. The economy of Zambia is going to be strengthened. I saw your currency being strengthened. I saw really the, your currency being strengthened and uh, I saw people's lives in Zambia being changed. I saw the economy uh, being taken to the next level. And there are sectors that the Spirit of God said, I must speak to you, that are going to be pivotal in your economy being strengthened. The Spirit of God said, uh, you, your mining sector, your mining sector is going to be very instrumental in strengthening your economy and also your agricultural sector and also your, your tourism. I saw it being posted. I saw people coming into your nation and I saw God uh, blessing your nation. And the third thing that the Spirit of God showed me was that um, you have to be very careful. Why? Because there is something that uh, the enemy wants to do. You, were, you are given, you have been given actually two terms to reign over the nation of Zambia. Two terms, I repeat. He said to me, I must tell you that as long as you are in that office, a lot of things are going to happen. I saw people uh, coming from other nations. I want to, for the, for the sake of security, uh, I will speak in a parable. I saw people, or rather a delegate, people from a nation in Asia, a nation in Asia, coming in and they will be speaking of uh, investment and they are going to speak of investment in line with lithium and also platinum. Uh, as the Spirit of God revealed this to me, he said to me, for sure in your country there are lithium deposits and there are also platinum deposits that are there. But these people are going to come as if they have information that they've gathered in line with those deposits, in line with, uh, with those areas. And they are going to come to you and they are going to present a very um, sweet, if so as to say, or rather attractive proposal uh, framed as if it's an, it's, it's an investment. But what I saw is as you allow them to enter your country, as you allow them to invest in your country, they, they are going to demand more of the things that you were not expecting. It's an Asian delegation that I saw, and the Spirit of God showed me that it's going to happen, if not in the beginning of December, it will be at the beginning of January 2023. The Spirit of God said, do not allow these people to enter your country and do not enter into an investment deal with these people. 
Yes, there are platinum deposits in your country. Yes, there are lithium deposits in your country. And the Spirit of God said to me, I must tell you that they are uh, in a place that you, 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 you have neglected or you, where you least expect it to be. The Spirit of God showed me that lithium deposits are at um, a national game park, one of your national game parks. I saw those in the Spirit of God revealed that and confirmed that to me. And these people, they have sent people for sure into your country to go and scout. They have information. But when they come, in, as if they don't have information and they want to enter into a deal with you, don't get into this investment deal. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. Because I saw their infiltration into your nation also affecting the political landslide. I don't see you. I don't see you ending your second term still in office. I don't see you ending. I don't see you completing, rather, your second term of uh, reigning in, 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 in Zambia. And all this will be caused by these people. That is, if you are to accept them, they are going to influence, infiltrate your politics. But the Spirit of God is saying, it's not supposed to be so. Hence, I have come out to speak to you. I would have uh, used other means to communicate with you, but I saw it proper to release this through this medium. May God bless you. We are praying for the nation of Zambia. We are praying for the nation of Zambia. We are praying for you. Saints in Zambia, the body of Christ in Zambia, let's join forces in prayer and safeguard what God has given us as a nation, as a nation or as the southern African region. You're, you being blessed as a nation benefits everyone in the southern region. And you being lifted up, your economy being lifted up, benefits also the southern African region as a whole. May God bless you. May God bless you.